We have one critical minute to focus on the fractional excretion of sodium. Our kidneys are great at retaining sodium. When our RAS system switches on, angiotensin II promotes sodium retention in the proximal tubule and aldosterone promotes sodium retention in the distal tubule and collecting ducts. When you retain sodium, obviously, less sodium will be present in urine. So low urine sodium teaches you two things. First, your kidneys are currently retaining sodium. This means your RAS system is switched on, which indicates a decrease in effective circulating volume, like hypovolemia, heart failure, etc., or renal artery stenosis. In renal insufficiency, this teaches you that the cause is pre-renal. Second, your kidneys are actually able to retain sodium, so your tubules are still functioning. In renal insufficiency, again, this teaches you that the cause is pre-renal and not renal or post-renal. You can imagine that if there is little sodium filtered through the glomerulus, urine sodium will be low as well. So in order to know if low urine sodium is due to tubular reabsorption, we'd need to relate the amount of sodium we pee out to our glomerular filtration rate. This is called the fractional excretion of sodium, and this is how you calculate it. Less than 1% constitutes sodium retention, i.e. pre-renal. More than 2% constitutes sodium excretion, i.e. renal or post-renal. For more information on the clinical application of the fractional excretion of sodium, watch my videos on it. You're dismissed.